which I could definitely see them go. Hmm, I was going to say go down the Lestra. Oh, the, it, I, I like that pick a lot. Off. You were lacking a team fight and control with the, the Hoodwink Omni Razor. So now the Conk is at least able to provide you some catch. Rum buff is nice. They are very sustainable on Patriots, but now that a Timber's picked up, that really throws that out the window. Like this Timber a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's something that you can put into mid lane if you want to, right? It could be a mid DK, but mid Timber against a Conkers feels pretty solid too. They do have the flexibility, of course, of having the last overall pick on Ten Motivate seconds, Trust's really? side. So they're going to be able to see the overall scope of the game. Seconds, I know there really? is some level of flexibility with this Kunker, like it could even be a one Kunker paired together with an Omni Knight. Not saying it's the greatest, but it could happen. But they're going to need to show their hand first. So what's the play now? I, th I think you're looking to ban out carry heroes on Motivate and expecting them to push the Razor to the off. Uh, Monkey, I think Urse is another one you're considering. I'm just seeing what, what carry Motivate wants because there's a lot banned out. No Dusa, no Void, no Monkey, no Morphling, no CK. You don't want a melee into a Razor. I, I, I don't like saying Drow. I don't hate it. I, I was mean, thinking about it. I, I think you... TB is a possibility. Remaining. TB Grimstroke isn't the greatest, but you, there's not many options left in my eyes. I think you want to nullify a builder. So anyone that fulfills Dire that role because you're against Omni Knight. So it's pretty important. Uh, I would kind of like a melee just because you're going to have a Grimstroke in your lane. You, what? I was about to say, what about a Sven? Sven. But, yeah. That is a dispel if you get Ags. You could also go Troll and go the Ags itself. If you want a Troll into Razor's a bit yikers. I know, but I'm, this is the, what they've drafted themselves into, You're right? Like, I like, You're reaching. This is all okay. their lanes. Like, <laughs> the lanes so far have been pretty decent, but I'm really struggling to see what carry pick they can get. Yeah, oh. I was going to say like PA, but it got banned, banned out. Yeah, that was the one I was going to mention. Um, you... All right, well, let's they see what... They need pa to play, pick a range now. They have to, right? They, there's nothing else that, other than a Ricky, but are you going to pick a Ricky into this? Probably not. Ricky's not bad. You do have ways to take towers. Ricky Grimstroke is a really, really good lane. It's great to get out of the Razor. I nullify wouldn't... Builder, it's a nullify build-up. Diffusal Blade as well against three strength heroes. I could I could really see a Ricky. I I wouldn't hate it at all. They could even just go the Bloodseeker route. Uh I believe it's still there. I think it's very good versus Razor. You good against Conquer. Yep, good against Conquer. The Ag Shot is good. I mean, we're still looking for Patriots here, but who cares about them? They got ten Honestly, seconds. Left. Yeah, Blood Bloodseeker's probably better than the Ricky, to be honest. And and it's a KMP here as well. Like he really loves that. Uh, Bloodseeker. Let's see what Patriots Dial go for. A couple of seconds left, and it's going to be the Templar, Templar Assassin. Assassin. So they are so physical with their damage right now. So Timbersaw is going to have a decent enough time. I don't really want to see this Omni lane with the uh, the TA though. Is it a TA mid? Mumung Dia, but like Mumung Dia conquer. Remaining. You really don't want to pass up on that. I they, just think it's a waste to have Omni TA as a lane. Remaining. They did recently actually. They gave Jikro the conquer. And I don't remember what okay. the Mung Dai was playing lately, but uh, so what was the one we said? We said Ricky and another. I don't Blood remember. Let's see. Uh, I don't think. I don't think the TA really changes much. Uh, rupture like TA can kind of stand at ground. It's okay. BKB to protect. I'm thinking for the lane though, because still now you're you're probably looking a Razor Hoodwink side lane, which. Maybe if you're like Tim is gonna have a good lean that can do a lot of damage. Like Ooh. You may now select your heroes. Well, well they yeah, I'm looking at the heroes. A lichen. Um What a push. It's, is it? Well DK Lichen plus shot if Master Rush won't go for it, but it's a lot of push. I think you conquer is one of the best ways to deal with the lichen. Uh, but the supports are atrocious on Patriots. They have no wave clear. So this Lycan's going to be a big issue. He den he can definitely build Nullifier. Um, you probably go Helm Overlord. I'm just worried for him with... um. He doesn't want to go BKB early. 
Yeah. Or he's kind of forced to, right? Because you are going to get controlled by Kunkka. You are going to get controlled by Hoodwink. You're going to get Razor linking you up, even with Shapeshift Puff, right? So that's what I'm a little bit more concerned about. This, uh, this series is actually pretty important, or even just this game, right? Because I'm pretty sure if Patriots win one more game, they're safe. They're lower bracket confirmed. So that's pretty hype for them. Four and eight now. They'll jump to six and eight. Motivate have two more games, so they can still. Yeah, but it's because Little Gun have. No, wait, no, maybe, maybe I'm wrong completely. I was, I thought Little Gun had played all their games, but I'm just wrong. Don't worry about me. I'm talking shit. <laughs> I got uh... them confused with RSG for a second. No, they do. No, they do. Lil Guns only got one more, and they can, and they're currently on three maps. So Patriots win this, they go six. If Lil Gun two zero motivate, they go five, and that's the most they can get. So yeah, Patriots See? with this win. Uh, I, I knew I was smart. <clears throat> that's absolutely debatable, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll move past that one. Do Let's have... not forget who's been cheating on who in these uh, past ah, few weeks. Yeah, ago. that's right. You, you mother freaker. <laughs> I have not forgotten. Right. I've seen you over there. Not just one person you're cheating with me on. Multiple people. All right, let's run down the list. Bogged, John, Gods, Harry Freak. Who else? Who else did you, did you cast with? Arthur? That's five. In the space of one tournament, you did that. Yeah, well, in the space of one tournament, what do you mean? You had four, what, four days? And you work with how many extra people? Yeah, shut the hell up. Oh, I worked directly so with about three other lovely people, okay? Let's not turn this into couples counseling, okay? <laughs> but, uh, all right, who do you think is going to win this one? Someone in chat did want to hear early about the couples counseling. They're, they're, people are starting to get invested with the cheating. I don't know what's going we're not on. A, we're not a soap opera. <laughs> soap opera? What do you mean? What, you don't want to be a soap opera? Days of our lives. I, I don't have the body for it, unfortunately. <laughs> what can you do? Tell me about it. But bro, you go to gym every day. Don't you start. What's that supposed to mean? Are you, telling I do have, are you, you saying do. I do have a body? Don't put words in my mouth, please. Bro, are you saying... But uh... it means that you... It means that you care about your physical well-being when clearly I do not. Well, you should. Everyone should. I, I probably should, yeah. But, you know, there's Dota to be cast. Yeah, well, I've worked 15 hours a day. Well, I am going to, and I still went gym. I am going to get five hours of sleep before work tomorrow. So you're making up excuses. Very That's nice. okay. I'm going to call you out on it. That's all right. You're about... 20 years younger than me, so you've got 20 years? How it. old are you now? What? Are you f Jesus. You're an infant. I'm an infant. Uh, <laughs> look, when, you're, when your age... When your age turns over and the first digit starts with the three, you'll start to feel the lack of energy at times. I'm already feeling it, man. My calves are absolutely destroyed today. What'd you do? What'd you do for your calves today? Not today. I did. When did I do legs? I did them yesterday. So they're not feeling very good. Back kind of messed what, what, up. What's your uh? My split. What, what's your? No, no, no. Like what your dedicated calf exercises? The ones where you like stand on the balls of your feet and like lift a thing on your shoulders or something. So yeah, they have a standing calf raise machine raise. and then uh, and yeah. then a, a sitting one, a horizontal. We got a game though. Unfortunately, I'm everyone. Gym's a beautiful place. Highly recommend. You, uh, you get to We're get all. We're just gonna your... do the heavy lifting in this game. That's what we want to know. Let's go. That is a great way to relate it back to Dota. You a big brain. I know I call you dumb sometimes, which is true, but you have the flashes of, of brilliance. And for me, I'm looking at. I reckon the Timbersaw is gonna take over this game. I, I think Master. I mean, Master loves this hero as well. He is a was that a platinum tier? Yeah. so he's, he's played plenty of it honestly at this stage you should be more mm -hmm. you should be high I'm kind of disappointed on it. especially Masra spams games spams is an the, understatement uh, is, there, is there another the, word uh, for that like <laughs> I don't know, what's higher than spams churns through has his mouse auto clicking the uh, Q game button after every single pub well, that's, that's a longer description than what I was hoping for but I feel like that does fulfill 
adequately enough. The message is there. The message is well and truly there. We'll see how this one shapes up. Again, like we said, it's a very important game from either side. Patriots, for our calculations, of course, they're not the greatest, but I will believe in Denog saying that this is a win for Patriots. We'll secure at least the playoffs for them and motivate. Uh, they're still really needing to get some victories under the their belt. Begins. See if they're able to do so in the second game. I think we're both favoring their draft. The Patriots. The Motivate Draft. Mm, I, I just don't... I'm not feeling the Lycan. I'm not feeling the Lycan. Really? So the Lycan's going to push you away? It needs to be a good Lycan game, and I just don't think it is. Oh, actually, it's paired together with the Grim, so that'll make it a lot better. But he's gone level one stroke oh. of fate, so... And he's just lost both of his wolves. And he just took half his health pool and leave. Bit unfortunate there, but... We're definitely going to see it's one of the lanes that they should be able to deal with the Wolves pretty easily. I, I wonder if, honestly, the, the Razor considers going for a bit more points in the Plasma field. You know, I'm going to say Patriots. I like my Omni Knight. I think that they've got a break. For the, they've got a break for Timber and for Dragon Knight. And they've got the control for these heroes that don't like to build into BKB to make sure you're getting a good static link off. I I think it's a good Timber game, but I think whenever there is a hoodwink in the game, Timber is very... That's a dope spray. Wait, what is... It? Look at Masteros' lane. Whose spray is that? I don't know whose it is, but that is awesome. You ha Whenever you're playing Timber, you got to get the spray. Sure. Uh, yeah, I, I think whenever there's a hoodwink in a game and Timber's there as well. Yes, CD. Who types? What? <laughs> Hang on. What? Did he type CD for something? Yeah. What are the interesting? Got to keep the comms clear. CD. Oh. CD. <laughs> Don't look, Shikoria. Oh no, the roaming on me on the back just snipes that away. All right, top lane. Grimstroke's gonna end up going down. So Delu finds our first spot. We've spoken a lot about Delu on the razor, and uh, if he can get off to a strong start, he really does tend to scale into. Pretty much a position one. I mean, he really often goes for position one items. I'm just trying to think of what they can act like. Of course, UK has been doing a good job of bullying out so far in this bottom lane, but you're just not able to do it anymore now that Tigger's level two, right? You're always going to have that leap potential to be able to get away. And it feels like his impact in this lane is going to be a lot less. Ooh. Very nice melt coming yeah. through, stopping Tigger from getting the, uh, the interrupt there. I think the big thing is, though, is that the Timber's very vulnerable through the early levels. And now that he's kind of getting to... Yeah, he's three and a half, so he should be really fine. Four is where I think we're going to start seeing Tigger make rotations. They don't have a crazy stack clearer. You could... Actually, I have seen the last time Masteros played the, the Timbersaw, they actually did give the Ancients to him, and he, he got very farmed, and he was hard to deal with. So maybe that's something they're going to be considering as top lane again. Leaf should be killed off. They're going to try and rely on the summons to body block, but the Delore's already stolen way too much damage. Here in this bottom lane as well, so I'm just going to keep talking about Omni. Mm -hmm. uh, he's level two. Most of the time, you put Heavenly Grace up at level two just to make sure that you're able to have that effectiveness in lane. Of course, it affects two targets if you're using it on someone else instead. But this lane, not really necessary, right? Like, what what stuns are you looking to interrupt other than a Marana arrow? Nothing really. You know, you can get rid of the uh, the lane. whirling death. The might be in trouble. Nice ink swell into the wolves, and this is a big kill for them to find. A combo that you were mentioning. Often we see it. The lane, it's not as strong. It's really the game where it really starts to become potent. But we're already seeing even level one in Inkspell. Lim's getting chased down. The Wolves, one more buy, but he does have a fairy fire to play with. So Lim Break should fate. scurry Break out, fate. but he doesn't sidestep the stroke. So Leaf gets another kill for Motivate up top. It's a nice way to be able to claw this one back for your team. Mid lane, go and conquer favored like we would be <laughs> expecting. <laughs> not the. Ex oh. I'm just laughing at feeding Corriers away. Pro plays and they can't micro Corriers. Unbelievable. UK's just being a nuisance to Tigger right now. Just chasing him down with that hammer of purity. 
But yeah, like, <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to go into the uh, the Heavenly Grace in that bot lane, is essentially what I was saying before. Is top lane more action. Yeah, the Lord they got just... rid of the wolf, though. <sighs> that is scary. Do you like Leaf going to second point stroke? Uh, I mean, he got him the kill previously. I trust my He's going to be killed off. Did he have <laughs> second point in stroke for that kill, or did he get the... Yes, okay. he did. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. It, it does feel like you were mentioning before that they had a little bit of a lack of that that wave clear. So I actually wouldn't be too surprised seeing UK go a couple more points into the purification early on, just so that you could somewhat deal with that. And as well, some additional pure damage against a, a Timbersaur is never bad. Yep. Delol again, top side. Oh no. Delol getting a little bit of distance thanks to the bush back, but the creeps body blocking him slightly. Lim might get a return kill if he hunts for this, but Leaf's actually going to continue to posture aggressively, pushing back the Hoodwink. So, Motivated doing a very good job up top. At least he's got his power treads now. I believe he had other things just delivered to him at the time. He didn't eat the Tango when they were going on him aggressively. I feel like if he had that ticking, he probably would have survived. But now he feels so much more safe with the power treads available. And look at this, K and P. He's actually in a little bit of a concern, actually. He should be able to... Uh, he'll probably die here. One more right click. Nice right stroke. Click. Gives him some distance away, but Delor might get the kill and leave, but the ink spell's still a concern, especially with the wolves. Keep in mind, they did get buffed up in the last patch. And, of course, he has three points in it as well. So, yeah, they're doing a decent amount of damage. It's just another one of those instances, right, where he doesn't pop the tango when he goes for a super deep dive. Anytime you're diving a creep wave at six minutes, you're going to be taking a lot of damage from that, not to mention the wolves on top. So it just felt like he wasn't fully playing around his effective HP quite so much. How do you want to see Dai utilize this Elder Dragon form? Because there's already been one pop from Garcha Boy and he's not getting anything out of it. Is it... Like, did you want him to rotate bot to play with the Timber? Do you want actually even Masteros to go mid to maybe kill off the, the Conquer? Like, what do you think kind of the ideal play is? I don't even know if it'll change much with him heading bot, right? Like, Masteros is in what we assume to be a winning lane, right? Not that he's maybe uh, not in now. the moment. He, he's yeah, actually in trouble. Get some distance oh. away. Ooh, mate, I'm going dice. Know. It's going to know now. He's got 10 stick charges. Tries to nice combo try. the chain, but not going to be perfect timing for that one. It was a nice attempt, but Mamung Dai, beautiful rotation down. You see how comfortable he is with the Conquer. And that's big. Try and shut down the Timber because we were speaking about that. He's very vulnerable through the early levels, but once you kind of get more points in reactive armor, very difficult to kill. But I do think this, is, this isn't this is a free Timber game. I think it's a good Timber game, but you have, again... All you really need is Sharpshooter. You get a, a mass amount of burst. You get the break. I, I think the Conquer, even though he's a strength hero, is actually one of the best strength heroes to deal with the Timber. Uh, just because of the nuke from Ghost X Ship. Mark. You can build Silver's Edge. And exactly right. The X Marks is really great. Anyone that has like a an instant stun in a way that you can drag him back as he's trying to chain. Because then it puts it on cooldown for like three seconds. And then it gives you a little bit more time to continue in the hunt. Not even just that, actually. Sorry, there's a little bit of action happening mid as Mamang Dyer is going to have, have Heavenly Grace to be able to survive a lot of the aggression. Again, this is a, a hell of a hero brawl. being hit by the Heavenly a Grace. A hell of a brawl. We got KMP charging mid. The War Slump's going to be able to set up for the arrows. Mamang Dyer will be vulnerable to the early shapeshift usage from KMP, but he's not dead until now. A one for one. I don't know if KMP can stick around. This Eye of the Storm is going to protect Delul. So, yeah, I think you're happy. Yeah, you're happy with that. I mean, it's a. Position two for a position five. Maybe if they were able to get that Helm Dom creep, they would have been somewhat okay with it. But, I mean, that to me just, yeah, UK puts the second point into the Heavenly Grace. He really needed that secondary use out of it, but with the long cooldown, doesn't have the luxury. So once he hits up onto level seven and then level 10 beyond that, it's a big power spike coming out for the Patriots. Uh, the other thing that I was wanting to say before as well about the Kunker relative to the Timbersaw is that it's another one of those abilities that you don't need to allow him to rack up a lot of the reactive armor stacks, right? You get the initial stuns onto him, he still has no stacks, you come in with a TA, melt strike, very minimal stacks, and you're able to obviously burst him down incredibly quickly. Even just the sharpshooter, right? You can essentially prevent him from getting any stacks at all. So I feel like against a Timbersaw, even though there's a few strength heroes, it's probably 
conquer TA Hoodwinker, three of the best heroes at being able to punish him. Yeah, I, I even think... Oh, well, actually, hold that thought. I think KP is going to be targeted down. Lim's got level six at a pretty decent timing. Sharpshooter's going to catch them off guard, and no, especially with Mamong Dai connecting top. So, beautiful concoction of spells from Patriots. Going to get a kill onto KMP. His second death of the game. And they're going to look to continue to put some pressure on top. Now, this might catch them off guard. That Leaf is already level six as well. So, there can be some turnaround. Or maybe Motivate just want to trade towers. Yeah, look to maybe close in on Jikro a little bit here. But good positioning by UK. He's making the rotation through. Certainly not easy. A blame. There we go. Leaf gets a soulbind out before he dies. Master's going to try and TP to the neighborhood along with Tigger. But you see, one, he doesn't have the damage and he can't really man fight Delore at the moment. And with the X, gets some distance. So beautifully done. They force rotations top, do a little bit of damage into the tower. Meanwhile, Jick Roy pretty much prevents Garja Boy from getting anything out of it. Uh oh, poor old Lim. Got scary. Ooh, Lim. No way. Lim's out of the second you? one hit, but the first one didn't. <laughs> so we, don't, we don't question Dota mechanics. Uh-huh. Oh, are they going for this? Oh, yeah, why right, not? Here we go. There's the burst. There's the break. Mastros just gets the chain away, but still, it's not going to matter. It's such a long duration break. And then instantly, UK gets rid of any opportunity they might have had to turn that around. Getting rid of the arrow. So there we go. T1 tower. Meanwhile, bottom lane, though. Looks like Motivate, they are going to find a trade across the map. I mean, trading against a yeah. Lycan, Timbersaw, DK lineup. I think you're very happy with that. Also getting a, a little bit of extra value out of the Heavenly Grace. Of course, it gives the bonus strength and HP regen per debuff if you're clearing off multiple things. So got rid of the Whirling Death, got rid of the Marana Arrow in that instance. Very nice. And meanwhile, Jikri is loving life. Having the best time in the world, just farming up that gigantic sack they made at the Ancients. So now he's well and truly on top of the net worth and working on the Desolator as his next item. They got Blink on they've Garcha Boy. They're trying to get Chikroy. Yeah, they should have the damage of a time to deal with a refraction. This time he won't be able to protect himself in the cover of the meld. Patriots are still actually going to bring some numbers to take the fight, but... They're trying to bait him in. Right, meanwhile, KMP's solo killing UK. Looks like UK Rushing. should be easy... Well, let's say easily. If he wants to pop the ultimate, but he can't TP out, it's still on cooldown. Back to mid, though, with the arrow. That's going to cut the razor, so they can turn their attention over to Delok. He was killed off. Meanwhile, KMP also gets UK. They're not done. They're also eyeing up Lim on the Hoodwing, but maybe they just want the tower instead of Lim's life. Be really nice if you can get the objective. It's going to open up more of the map. But they feel like the Hoodwink is worthwhile as Garcha Boy flies on over, sets up for the arrows, motivate, chain this kill into another successful fight for them. And they'll get the tower oh. as well. Never mind, gets denied. So nicely done by Mamang Dyer. They're just not quite capable of taking the fights yet if they full on commit with all their ultimates like that on Motivate Trust. You know, you you need the Guardian Angel for the middle of these team fights. You need the TA to be able to fight back rather than just feel like you could survive for a couple of right clicks. Of course, you've got the Inkswell, you've got Lycan with all of his different units. And speaking of the Lycan units, they're also scouting out the Jikro's farming here. They're going for another kill attempt. Gotcha's got a haste as well. He's going to connect really fast. And there we go. Once again, the ink small able to deal with the refraction as motivate leap into the opportunity. But Radiant, they want to fight. They want to brawl, but Master standing guard. He doesn't have many refraction or many reactive armor stacks. But the sharpshooter. He's gonna be in trouble. Hood's not gonna protect him much from the damage as Delors into the middle, zapping away the life. Now they might look to turn around, but a defensive soulbind will hold them back. So giving motivate an opportunity to get out of harm's way. Well, they kill the Timbersaw, and I mean, the thing is, with these deaths, TA was still able to farm the majority of that stack. Yeah, they, they blocked it up afterwards, so she's not going to have the luxury of that, but she's still second on net worth, and when number one's Kunker, you're still feeling okay. Did she get the Desolator from that? No, still a thousand gold away, but Kunker nearly has his own BKB, so that's going to be pretty significant. You've also got Dalul, who I believe is not too far away from his BKB. Did he have the, the Mithril Hammer finished up just yet? No, I don't think so. Step lively now. Pretty low level on the Razor. 
Hasn't been one of the better games that we've seen from Delul. Lane, of course, was very difficult for him to deal with, but what what is his what is his role in the fight for, for Delul's Razor? Uh honestly, literally any target. You know, it, it feels like K and P probably is gonna be too quick. You need the X marks Whoa, to be able to do that. Speaking about Delul's gonna be in trouble. Again, the Dragon Tail sets up for the arrow. They even get the Ink Spell stun onto the Conquer, so we can't really get the combo off. But Delul. Evade attempt until Master is able to step into the back and KMP. He wants more blood charging behind the T2 Towers. Gotcha, boys, onto the secondary support as Motivate just overwhelm them and they're not done just yet. Mamung Dyer, a defensive boat along with the BKB. It's a crash as a way of life of Grimstroke. But the BKB is soon to expire. He should be able Nine to get one. away, although Gacha Boy even blinks under the tier 3 tower. No cares in the world, as they know the Templar Assassin is not in fighting shape. Radiant structures are fortified. She's at least going to have the Desolator now, trying to at least put a lot of attention onto the top side of the map so they don't take the key objectives Dyer's that they're worrying about. Again, they've only attack. lost two tier 1 towers, so they are giving up a lot of kills for sure, and they're getting run over a little bit, but it's very... Uh, to Patriot's credit, they're able to draw out these team fights long enough that you're not able to get full impact of the shapeshift to continuously oh. push forward. Joel Delu? There's no way they creep push him closer to motivate. So they're gonna oh, be able to chase him ripper. down. Nice pushback holding them back. Gotcha boys blink. It's up shortly, but they're going to respect the respawns. Oh, will they? They're still posturing really aggressively. Gacha Boy's onto the Conquer. It's going to disrupt the combination. That's a huge jump from the Dragonite, giving them an opportunity. And now to pounce as Motivate. Kill after kill, chaining it from one to the next. As even Jikroy. Maybe he oversteps the boundary a bit too far. Gacha Boy again, man. Okay, Gacha Boy. He is playing out of his mind on the Dragonite this game. His laning phase wasn't incredibly solid but we've seen what he's been able to do once this blink dagger was completed and motivated just playing really well around that i think that's a big error on patriot side just because you pick this omni knight specifically because you want to avoid a lot of these chain stuns that are coming through and that's a couple of kills that you've given up because you just didn't play around him they had a couple of traps up in the area that uh, knp's in now they've also got this observer ward to the right of him so they knew the general location of motivate Maybe they knew they were waiting around trying to get another key pick off but they just ran in anyway so i think they really need to try and play around uk a lot more not just for the heavenly grace but also guardian angel again Against this Lycan DK feels pretty damn important. It's just, it's not like I have a crazy net worth lead. I mean, there was about three thousand advantage at some stage for Patriots, but I think the most important thing is that you've killed TA multiple times in a row. So the fact that Garcia boys around the same net worth is something you would never see in a game. And just hold that thought because they are roasting and raiding are coming out. I think they smoked underneath the ward as well. It's just expired, but well, hit the uh, torrent. That'll go off. Vision. The boat. So Gacha Boy can't start the fight now. They can blow yeah, him up, but the Ink Spell is going to be able to protect him for the moment. It's an early GA. Not really much damage is being dealt. They're going to kite the ultimate at the moment. Nice read from Motivate. Do they want to go back in now with this expiring? You bet they do, KMP. Trying to find the opportunity. He's running out, though. But it's going to be in trouble. Drag back. Mamung Dai is in trouble. Meanwhile, the river, they just blow up the Templar Assassin. They move their attention over to the Omni Knight. Now the stragglers are in trouble. There's a Timbersaw, Masteros, Job. Oh, he's well and truly encompassed that. Just making space, creating chaos as Delore is the lone survivor, but not for long as Gacha Boy will catch him out in the back line. Five dead as Tigger. He spams the world plates, and I tell you what, they are well deserved with how motivated are looking in this second game. Way too spread up there by Patriots. Like, they, they just completely dealt a split. And I understand that it's kind of hard to fight into a Timbersaw. You don't want to be in this enclosed space, but they, they just left the supports out to dry, basically. And with the shapeshift, it only had about five seconds left on it, but still, they just looked a full-on commit to, to not having it. And, well, KNP, I believe that he is going into a nullifier of his own. So up against this uh, <laughs> Guardian Angel, Heavenly Grace, it's going to be pretty Dude. damn effective. Oh, UK. At least he got the ward before he died. It's the main thing, right? Silver linings? Come on, come on. 
this feels very pubby from the Patriots, I'll say that much. They, they're just running in constantly, not changing anything about how they take their team fights, not respecting the strengths of Motivate Trust. It feels like, oh, we just want to fight, 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 fight. But there's no real rhyme or reason to it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. If the Lord's been working on this BKB Radiant's for quite some time, is under he's... Yep. Yeah, Imagine well. what things would be like if he's not getting chain locked down. Maceros? Early yours. Now, we won't have this to destroy the combo. He's got the ages, but you just... Ooh, all right. Well, they're going to jump. Gotcha, boy. Doesn't find anyone retreating through the lane. Nice read from Patriots going the... More to the south side instead of kind of... Southwest. Beautifully played from them. They get the pick off. Maceros now without the ages advantage. And space for the Templar Assassin, who almost has a blink. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. It's it's nice, I guess. I mean, it really depends who you catch out at the end of the day, right? Like, what are the, the BKB statuses like? You don't have one on at all. On Dyer. It's a difficult kill. Arrow connects, but instantly UK purging this one off. So the Omni Knight, when he's placed really in a position to protect them, it's very difficult for Moto 8 to pounce. Now, they have Spirit Vessel. There is definitely a window to kill Masteros. He's got to be hesitant. But Gacha Boy finds a window. It's going to jump the Templar Assassin right. off to the side. He doesn't have to BKB just yet. Yours controlling for the Yours moment so the they can close the distance. And without the G8, will not protect him for the moment. And now they're onto Mamong Dyer as well as KMP. Thinking about the higher gun, but the respect it. Well, Gacha Boy's not going to respect him at all. Mamong Dyer. An aggressive boat doesn't connect on anyone. They're just falling apart. They're, they're not playing as a team at all. Playing split, not respecting division. You know that they're going to be playing around this sort of area, right? They've taken this side of the map. They've ganked you twice in this sort of region where they're playing in now. And for whatever reason, Jikro just feels like it's safe to walk on through there. It was pretty decent positioning and honestly a good use of the Guardian Angel there by UK. But that Yule Scepter just removes its impact entirely. Blacken's already got a Nullifier as well, so... Have fun with your G, have fun with your Heavenly Grace as well. Not yet, not yet. He's 900 gold away. Uh, did I say almost? What did I say? You said he's, he's got it already. Oh. He's almost got it. There we go. Well, there is your... Have fun, Omni Knight. I mean, heavily countered by... It's a pretty expensive item, but the fact that they're this farm, they can get it at probably 23 minutes in. It's a GA counter though, right? It's not the heavenly counter. At least you get the dispel off. You you break the chain stun so you can pop the BKB. Gotcha, boy. It's gonna jump into the middle. Him. Oh no, the oh, double X. What initiation? <laughs> That's filthy. Motivate. Stop it, man. You're playing this game so well. Like, where has this motivate been? Where has this motivate been? They are just binning Patriots in this second game. Uh, it's, they're, they're hungry for the win, right? They need yeah. it. They want to avoid getting eliminated. Oh, Tigger, he's got a Yule Scepter of his own. No BKB still. It's getting delivered on the core, but it's, it's all the way across the map. and won't get there nearly fast enough. And they're able to connect this through with getting the kills right in front of the Tier 3s. means they can actually look to take some objectives off the map. Looking like being a Tier 3 minimum. Might be able to get the Melee Rex as well, but with Kunker respawning shortly... Could be a little bit challenging. You, you got to spend some of your money on Kunker. Like, he's been Radiant's holding on to about 2,000 gold for the attack. longest time now. Oh, boy. There you go. Have fun with the Nullifier. Just give me the broadsword on Kunker, right? Something to buff up his damage for now. Quelling Blade's not going to do anything. What do you mean? Farm. Broadsword does more damage. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Quelling Blade worth. You cut through trees. Ugh. Can't even kill the ancient black dragon. Oh, this is a really good ward for them to set up top as well. Top it's going to keep this lane shoved attack. in. They can cut the wave, and it's almost suicide if Radiant think about defending that tower without any vision around that triangle. Mhm. Mm God, this black dragon, dude. Oh my God. At least it's not as broke as one, what it used to be, but it's still goddamn attack. stupid. Radiance top tower is well, under attack. 10,000 net worth lead for Motivate. 3% probability for Patriots. Radiance Keep in mind, 
Uh, with the victory from them, this would have secured a playoff position. Uh, it's going to be a very difficult position for them to come back in now. Still haven't quite been able to get that that Rax though, right? They, it feels like they need that one more team fight that they're able to convert Archie boys in. Conker, can you get the BKB off? UK is going to be able to purge off the arrow, but they do a good job to kite the Razor. Instant Halberd turns him back on his heels. And importantly, they didn't use any BKBs either on Patriot's side. So Motivate feel like they can't actually look to commit on into this. They might even try and make it a, a turnaround, but they're going to need to wait some time. They need this Elder Dragon form to not be available anymore, and then they can feel confident going in. Oh. Gonna have to compete up into that nullifier though. Oh, they see them all coming outside the base. I think Bumong Dai and Jikro are both under ward, so instantly yeah. Dai are going to start to pivot back to the triangle. Still got a decent duration left on that Elder Dragon form, about a quarter of it. Let's see if they Archimoy go. might go. Here. Ooh, thinking about it. Didn't have the ink swell though. Bit hazard him. They'll just take away the vision and be satisfied with that. Smoke though coming out. They know that they're seeing the DK's form is expiring in about two seconds now. Among Dai shows they're going to see Tig up, but. That's not the target you want. Yeah, they, it's so hard for Radiant to start fights. It's like an X, but they can just react to it. You got to get Grimstroke. Grimstroke is the one for mine that you need to take out at the start of all of these engagements. <laughs> I think Leafs had a really solid game from his lanes. Nothing crazy with the itemization, but just still going Ag Shards, very important. And I think how he's been positioning through the entirety of the game. Six deaths, nothing crazy, but yeah, I think Leafs had a very, very solid game. Guy only just hitting up onto level 15 against Gacha Boy, level 19 now. Nearly Oof. hitting that extra little bit of a spike with a level tw uh, plus 20 strength. Jikrai has to be a little careful down here. I mean... You wouldn't want to be wasting a BKB charge, but Tigger's going to force that out of him. Oh, got to get rid of the creeps. Oh, no. Jikri might be able to TP out now, but Gacha Boy's moving over. Well, there's no blink on Jikri as well to be able to move into the trees. So Gacha Boy finds his son. And, well, there's the BKB. Oh, he can't even stand his ground. And man fight. Uh, he, he needs to TP pretty soon. Is it going to be on the cover of the full duration? It is. Even gives a high five. Me more mid lane. Mid -lane. Oh, it's just space. Maybe he wanted to just make as much... Okay, Look Matt. Oh, healing. what the... All right, he's back up the full. And they did do shapeshift. The prize is mine. Got to wait it out. That's the thing. They are a little bit cooldown reliant on Motivate Trust side. So the best thing the Patriots can look to do, wait for your BKB to come back up on the TA, 45 seconds, and then look to try and engage with the 30 seconds that you've got after that when Lycan won't be quite as effective. Get to the creeps. Oh. <laughs> He tried. I didn't know the X mark talent slowed enemies more. Mm hmm. Interesting. I feel it's like. It's one of those ones that they went and stole from Axe Labyrinth. Bring back Labyrinth. Well, make it just permanent. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, I feel like it'd get stale if it was just that exact thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, but maybe adding new heroes every now and then yeah. would make it exciting. That's there was, but how they didn't have nearly every hero. What maybe like thirty? No, it was like thirty. Yeah, yeah. I would imagine that you've got seventy more. What? How many heroes are we up to? Like well, over one ten, right? One twenty, I think. Oh, there's so many, <laughs> and we're stuck with like forty heroes, maybe even less in a meta Masros. Oh, my guy's gonna get vision on, on the him. back line. Let's see how much damage he does. Ooh, about half health. Nothing crazy, just a moment. Astros is going to go the into melt. them. But Still they are yours. tickling him. Plate mm -hmm. mail, cloak of flames. What armor for himself when he doesn't have these stacks. Okay, still holding on to his smoke and four salves. And he gets from his old trusty shovel. But they haven't made the aggressive play when... Shapeshift was unavailable. Roche is going to be up in another 10 seconds. They're actually looking to try and take them out to either secure Roshan for themselves or... Tigger's going to find Lim bottom. Let's just set up. Yes. Not going to be a long stun in the arrow. He's got a couple of scurries to work with. Oh. oh, it's just UK. Nothing crazy. How dare you. <laughs> oh, true, like, man. Dude, if I missed a TA kill, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be horrible. 
carry superiority. I hate it. Well, they're um, really slow Roche takers. They didn't see that the DK had TP down to the bottom side, though, to try and uh, secure the kill onto the Hoodwink. So they're not going to feel confident in leaving their base. They, that's the thing. Have a look at what Patriot's map looks like right now. It is just dark. They have nothing outside of a couple of TA traps in lane. So, yeah, this is going to be another free Roche. Who's going to get the Shard? Looks like just something else to help with pushing a little bit with the Flamethrower. Really like it from Maceros. Just another Refraction uh, Shredder as well. Go rapier on the Mung Dai. The time. <laughs> Third <laughs> item rapier. <laughs> it's getting there. Just shadow emulate everyone. I mean, I don't know. Tidal wave, push them back into your tier fours and get them to help you do damage. I like this bringing cross, you know. I, I kind of liked my shadow emulate thing. But anyway, it's okay. You just, just AFK. No, 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 not AFK. Just all sit on five on top of the stairs and hope they don't sentry. Oh, of course. With the gem that DK has. Oh, yes, they have a gem. Never mind. Well, he won't be the siege, right? DK's never siege. No, absolutely not. He's taking <laughs> in buildings. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, There's a top position. Oh, look, look, at, look at him with a granite golem as well. He's already... He didn't even go the 20 strength, and he's got 4.4k HP because of this ancient granite golem. Nothing wrong here. Bottom tower has what do you mean? Boots bearing as well. Oh, he's got a Scotty. Oh. All right, time for DK to hate hitting buildings. This guy... I don't think Gacha Boy dies. <laughs> time to... <laughs> oh, to get out. All right. He Let's... tried your play. It didn't work. Yeah, uh, well, it was... Just Jikroy, it wasn't all four other heroes under the cover. How do you... You can It's very difficult to blow up Masteros with the yours. There's, there's, I don't think there's much potential for like a chain stun for them to catch him off guard. And he's got Aegis as well on top of yeah. that. He just wants to get these uh, these creeps hitting They're going to go. They're going to jump. Jikroy under the war. Too far on the front line. Okay. BKB GA. Where's the nullifier? He gets out. Oh, nice blink to reset. But now with the boat crashing down on two. But it doesn't look like it matters. The damage. It's minimal without the TA on the front line. So motivate. Just tank through everything. And now, oh, gotcha, boys. In once again. But another heavily grease. Blue's going to try and turn it back on its head. Zapping away the damage, but that is all they'll get. Now there's no way you fight. BKBs are all on cooldown. GA's on cooldown. This will be free. Has Do they have the greatest Radiance push left, though? I mean, 30 fallen. seconds until the Elder Dragon form again. Lycan doesn't have shape shift. Oh, there we go. There's your tidal wave. No, no, oh, it doesn't no, get in the throne, though. Hate to see it. Astros? Predictions always come true. <laughs> no, well, didn't really work, did it? And you shed into the fountain as well. I said into the tier four. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, okay, sure. I saw yeah, feels oh, gotcha, boys. I mean, in. Poor old Conk. Uh, <laughs> if you do that, you got to make sure your Omni's near you. And he was not at Radiant the time. Structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower. Oh, it should be a valuable win. win. Motivate. Yeah, without a doubt. Radiant's bottom it really puts that their last series in an important position. Uh, I, I believe it's Motivate versus Lilgon, so I think whoever loses that in a tricky spot. Well, Patriots do have another series later on, so anything can happen. Masteros, pretty much unkillable. Hey, just for another minute 30. Two full sets of barracks claim, 21,000 net worth lead. You're not going to have enough time till the Conker's alive, and they're going to make sure there's not even a window of opportunities. They'll find them into the tree line. Lord like streak onto Masteros. He's had a exceptional game, along with everyone onto Motivate. This is really the first time I have not seen the offlane razor worked. It's been kind of the, the fallback strategy for Patriots, but finally someone's able to break it. They're able to break it, but it did feel like a lot of it was on on Patriots' side in terms of the errors of where they took their team fights as well as when. You know, just being a couple hundred gold short of BKBs on a razor in particular. What, what do they have to stop a razor from running at you once he's got BKB? Absolutely nothing. And it just meant that they were still able to deal out a ton of damage. They could lock him down. And he was blown up at the start of about, I feel, four consecutive team fights. And they still didn't adjust to it after that. You know, it, it just felt like they had this, this window where they could have been really strong to mm, discourage the push 
that Motivate was going to be running at them. I mean, you're going up against a DK, a Lycan, and a Timbersaw, right? Three, at least two of those heroes really thrive on the early-ish portions of the game, and you you just fed into that, basically. So good on Motivate Trust for keeping the pressure going, punishing the fact that Patriots were hungry to fight. Honestly, I'm kind of happy we get a one-to-one because -one, now now there's just one less slot decided it gets, puts us closer and closer towards the remaining series remaining days where more is on the line um but patriots they do still have a series today to be able to try and find that last map victory that i believe they need um they yes. will be versing uh they're gonna execration. be yeah which is tricky because execration are looking very very good and yeah, I mean, Excretion, of course, they still have upper bracket to play for. I believe they're seven and three at the moment. So they need to get at least two more wins, I think, to secure upper bracket for themselves with four games left to play, I want to say. Maybe more, might be six. So, you know, they're going to be trying. It's not like they're, they're qualified, they're happy, they want to sit back and rest. No, they want to secure it for themselves as early as possible. But Patriots, it really depends which which version of the team shows up? Is it the game one version, which looked dominant from pretty much start to finish, or game two, where they were taking a bunch of silly fights and not necessarily playing around their key itemization timings? We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, indeed we will. We'll have to wait and see if Patriots are able to bring their A game in their last series of the night versus Execration. It's going to be about a 20-minute break. We'll see you guys all shortly.